Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanna compare old Innisfree lipstick. Mostly this lip tint already discontinued or changed formula. But since I was really in love with Innisfree product before, let's review all old Innisfree lipstick. From the ingredients and the price is really affordable that time. My lips is easily chapped too but not chapped when I use Innisfree lipstick. Let's go with Innisfree Vivid Cotton Ink first. It's really hard to peel off the sticker. I bought it at Indonesia, so there must be the Korean sticker after the Indonesia one. And I don't like the sticker residue, so I prefer to tear the sticker with cutter. Before pandemic, this tint is one of my favorite. Cause it's creamy, moist and long last on my lips, even after eating, my lips still have the redness. But since I need to clean it up harder, my lips start to dry. If not clean enough, my lips will darker. The other things I don't like is the taste. The fragrance is really strong. Next in is Free Flower Cotton Ink. It's special edition from 2018 Jeju Color Picker. This flower cotton ink is more watery than previous one. But the applicator is too straight, so usually I use it to make ombre lips. It quite long last but the fragrance is too strong too. Next in a free Real Fit Lipstick. They claim in their box that this lipstick is light fitting, clear color, long lasting, and add camellia oil. And yeah, do agree but for lasting, it quite lasting than similar type of lipstick. So far, I like this lipstick and use it for my daily. Next, Innisfree Real Fit Velvet Lipstick. On the box, they claim that silky fitting, velvet color, long lasting and add camellia oil. Yeah, it's velvet and not make my lips feel dry. I like the gold color on the package. Next, Innisfree Real Fit Creamy. Skincare guru, Director Pai said this lipstick has great ingredients. On the box they claim this lipstick is pure and clear color, moisture and soft shine, light and comfortable fitting, add camellia oil. I love this lipstick and feel like wear Dior lipstick. Next in a free creamy tint lipstick. They claim on the box this lipstick have vivid color, creamy texture, long-lasting and add camellia oil. So far I didn't feel any difference with other Innisfree lipstick. Next Innisfree Vivid Slim Fit Tint. On the box they claimed, light fitting, vivid color and long-lasting. They didn't add camellia oil here, and this is why I feel so dry when wear it. It long last than the rest in a free lipstick except Vivid Cotton Ink. Let's smudge it. For disclaimer, this lipstick's released before pandemic. That time, only few lipstick that not transfer proof and not smudge proof. But I'm amazed with Vivid Slim Fit Tint cause it not smudged much than the rest. Let's clean it all with cleansing oil to test the tinted. This is why Vivid Cotton Ink and Flower Cotton Ink is the long last one. But I'm surprised with the other lipstick cause they still tinted too. Let's compare in a free Real Fit Velvet and Real Fit Creamy. I don't like to bring it together in my pouch cause I can't identify which one the velvet and the creamy but I like to bring the slim one than the thicker one. Not only cause it's fit to get inside my pouch, but the lipstick size is fit for my lip size. Next in a free real fit and creamy tint. I don't feel any difference between them. Even though they said the creamy one will long laster than real fit. But I don't feel the difference too. Even on cleansing oil test too, there's not much difference. Glad they differentiate the lid. So far, I like Innisfree's lipstick line before pandemic. I didn't try the newest one, 
Hopefully I can share it to you. That's all for today. See you on my next video.